Don Goodman. And first, very good evening to Daniel Mann. Yes, good evening, Simon. Welcome, everybody. Well, whatever happens tonight, this season's League Cup campaign has been memorable for MK Dons. In round one, the most emotionally wrought tie possible against AFC Wimbledon. In round two, it is the most mouth-watering. Twenty-nine thousand expected, a night that allows the imagination to wonder. There certainly has, ahead of uh, the biggest obstacle on this, a worthy stage for big occasions, and this certainly the biggest yet at Stadium MK. Although not the biggest names in this Manchester United lineup, as we will confirm again for you shortly. Let's take a check on the teams then, and it is a chance for these MK Dons players to express themselves free from the pressure of expectation. And there is some top-level pedigree around. Darren Potter featured in Liverpool's Champions League winning run of 2005. Samir Carruthers starts for the first time in six months after serious knee injury. He saw Premier League action for Aston Villa, he was on loan here last season. In goal, Alvin Martin's son David, another former Liverpool player, has returned after a hip injury. Manchester United give full debuts to Saidi Janko and Rhys James in the wing-back positions. Janko, a 19-year-old from Zurich, James graduating from the bench. Johnny Evans returns from injury to add some much-needed experience at the back. Elsewhere, there were opportunities for players to prove themselves to either the United management or someone else's. Well, MK Dons can introduce on loan Arsenal striker Benica Fobe to provide some power up front. Of United's bench, McNair, Pereira and Thorpe are yet to make senior debuts for the club. Well, plenty of young players in the United ranks. A young player in the MK Dons side who has certainly made a huge impression despite his tender years, Don. Well, he's been eye-catching last season and at the start of this season. Just 18 years old, 50th game this evening and nine goals already very very talented boy and one to keep an eye on and in a midfield battle against a man who probably thought he wouldn't pull on the United yeah. shirt again it's interesting isn't it yeah he probably thought he played his last game but he's been given an opportunity I'm really curious just to be need him to be right up for the fight here tonight Louis van Gaal's first taste of a good old-fashioned English cup tie and desperate to see, I'm sure, his team at last get that winning feeling in the serious business after a very successful phony war, if you like, in pre-season. Well, I bet he can't believe what he's seen. This is a third-tier English football ground, full to the rafters. Nowhere else in the world would you get this. And huge attention on him and uh, Manchester United's latest capture, Angel Di Maria, that business completed. But it is a remarkable contrast in experience levels in the two dugouts. Carl Robinson had just turned eight when Louis van Gaal stepped into his first managerial role as caretaker at Ajax back in 1988. I have to say he's a bit of a young manager that I've been very, very impressed with, the way he's got his young teams to pass the ball and play football. And they've been the nearly men, haven't they? I mean, League One is the priority, there's no doubt. But just for tonight, you can switch off from that and play in this game where they've got absolutely nothing to lose, MK Dons, and everything to gain. And I would suggest never a better time to play Manchester United than now. Well, the biggest game, no question, in MK Dons, relatively short and very controversial history. Two clubs, really, that do stir plenty of emotions in football fans across the land. MK Don's night in the spotlight. Will it be a night to remember for a team that have made a decent start to life in League One this season? A frustrating draw on league business against Coventry at the weekend, but a dream draw here in this competition. Diego Hernandez tussling in his first battle of the night with Carl McFadgett. Covered in the Capital One Cup. And then the first round was uh, Coventry City against Cardiff, and Coventry just didn't get anywhere near Cardiff. I was really disappointed. Brothers plowing a furrow. Ali trying to work an opening. Carruthers again. 
might be a touch ring rusty tussling there with Marnik for Meyer and here's Welbeck Al Kagawa and Hernandez arriving here's Hernandez he's unlucky isn't it he lost his foot in just at the crucial moment but there MK Dons you've been warned Manchester United with that pace of Danny Welbeck on the counter-attack can turn defence into attack extremely quickly, probably more quickly than anything that these players come across in League One. Johnny Evans, key role at that, the heart of that back three. Marek Vermaal making only his second appearance for Manchester United to his left after a League Cup bow two years ago. Michael Keane has not had too many opportunities for his parent club. There's Welbeck. And again, we'll escape the clutches of Kagawa. Well, if MK Dons don't get a grip of Danny Welbeck, there's no doubt they're going to lose this game because he's running riot already in the opening two minutes. He's turning defenders, he's making good runs, he's clearly got the beating of them for pace. They need to get a grip of that situation, the home team. Well, he certainly added something at Sunderland at the weekend amid all the talk of his potential impending departure. Michael Keane had come in at the near post and Powell attacking it from the far. It was Janko. It was very much the Antonio Valencia figure in the under 21 side. Very comfortable in that position. It's Kagoa. Janko again. Not too much trouble physically. Got him from FC Zurich a couple of years ago. Creating in what is effectively, I suppose, the matter role these days. Reese James, Nick Powell! Well, it's all Manchester United in the opening three, four minutes, isn't it? Dominating possession, looking sharp, looking lively. It's very, very well. Comes inside to Nick Powell. It's young Reese James that rolls the ball square. That's a really good effort. Welbeck has found Hernandez here. Oh, crucial deflection off Anthony Kay, but uh, MK Don showing real signs of nerves at the start here, conceding possession extremely cheaply. Oh, they, are. they are a team that like to get the ball down and pass it, but you do that in the right areas. You can't afford to turn possession over cheaply like that. around it's Bodic away and MK can reacquaint themselves with possession this is Reeves up against Powell who's won the duel in the end he just didn't have anywhere to go did a young Ben Reeves Manchester United players got back very very quickly They've started very well the away team right on the front foot and that is what the manager would have wanted Is Anderson. And then spell it to Fiorentina last season. He made a few interesting comments about who might like to follow him through the exit door at that point. It's a regime change yet again in the summer. It's the work by Bodic. And there's Reeves. Carruthers free on the near side. Ali came off Powell a mile away. And here is Welbeck. Certainly been the star turn so far. Powell. 
margin more up up than away. The second bite will get it back to David Martin. It was noticeable that time. And the MK Don's defenders just dropped an extra five or ten yards, didn't allow Danny Welbeck to get the run on them behind. They may find in the not too distant future. Ball going into his feet and him turning and running at them because that's what he want. He want them not to know whether he's going short or going long. Offside there against Grigg. Manchester United chief executive hot footing it, vice chairman to give him his proper title from uh, completing the deal to capture Angel Di Maria, new British record fee. Where precisely he's going to fit in remains to be seen. Well, that's his problem. Well, it's a nice problem, isn't it? A player of that ability at your disposal, I'm sure he'll find somewhere. That's uh, quite a statement, despite United's absence from Champions League football for this season, at least. Because it's a massive show of support for Louis van Gaal, isn't it? In the opening two Premier League games, there's just been a little bit of creative spark, creative spark missing from Manchester United. I don't think many people thought that would be a particular problem. I think most people felt that they needed to shore up defensively, but just lacked that little bit of a cutting edge may be able to bring that creative spark the Argentinian. Fadin, who certainly provided the spark in the last round with a brilliant backheel goal. MK Don's the lead against AFC Wimbledon. Second time they've come together and uh, maybe not quite as intense as the first time for obvious reasons, but it was certainly quite a night. Michael Key. There's Janko. David De Gea, sole survivor from the weekend. Potter. Kagawa down. Well, they're saying clash of heads. That's the reason he has to stop the. Game. Honest enough challenge, isn't it? Just comes together with Potter there. Actually, he's the instigator, isn't he? Shinji Kagawa. That's the back of Potter's head. They're playing in uh, that advanced midfield role tonight. Uh, Powell, who's also in the side tonight, would probably be more comfortable. Uh, Van Gaal has said. Kagawa cannot hold in midfield. He's having to do something akin to that at times tonight. So what Louis van Gaal is saying is that Nick Powell is defensively more disciplined than Shinji Kagawa, based on what he's seen so far. Here's Anthony Kay. Ali. Looking towards Bodic, and Janko in charge of the situation, but here's Lewington on the gallop. Anderson, early ball for Hernandez. Well, he will be penalised for the challenge on McFadden. Well, the big centre-half does really well here. He's played very, very quickly, takes up a wonderful position. Javier Hernandez right in between the two centre-halves and the pass. Took so many MK Dons players out, it was a wonderful ball. Yes, yes. But it was great cover from McFadzin. Johnny Evans. Ali. Bounced off Keane. David De Gea being kept honest by Ben Reeves, who got a brief taste of the Premier League at Southampton. Here's Kagawa and Welbeck tearing into some space potentially here, but he won't get there. And again, it's fine, fine margins. First of all, McFadden just literally a minute ago. This time, David Martin in the goal times his dive to perfection. And here, a tangle between Bodic and Janko. Janko won the last battle, but Dean Bodic back for more. 
uses his body well there, doesn't he? Forces the young man to impede him. It's been a fast, frenetic ten minutes, I have to say. Certainly the first five minutes, the MK Dons players... It's a little bit nervous, I don't suppose many of them are used to playing in front of such big crowds as we've got in here this evening, but they seem to have just settled down the last two or three minutes. Passing the ball better. Berdic's delivery. Omar was in there. Reeves. Potter's effort. There's a wonderful first touch here. On the outside of his boot from Darren Potter. Ball goes up high. OK, Don, just keep it alive. Reeves it is. There's a lovely touch, but that is going to be spectacular, isn't it? Lovely touch to bring the ball under control, but on his weaker side. Can't keep the ball down. Ali. Anderson, Kay, good experienced heads at the back. Monik for Meyer. Anderson tussling there with Reeves and eventually winning. Welbeck, James. Up against Ali and uh, George Baldock. Filling in admirably at right back after a really bad injury to regular incumbent Lee Hodson. He's going to be out for a while with ankle trouble. Here's Bodic. Oh, that's good play. Inside Janko. Left Dean Bodic with nowhere to go. United, they are working hard, they're pressing MK Dons when the home team have got the ball. Very impressively. Now back to Keane. Powell. Here is Michael Keane. He made his debut way back three years ago now in this competition. Memorable night for him against all the shots. So featured a couple of seasons ago. Here's Carruthers. Can't get a better Romanic for Meyer. He rather telegraphed that, didn't he? And all knew exactly where Carruthers wanted to go. Carruthers come here from Aston Villa, has had that horrible knee injury, but Carl Robinson certainly feels at 21 he can get back to the Premier League eventually. However long it may take. The measure of his talent. Just needs a bit more luck in terms of his fitness. Anderson, Hernandez. Well, back again. The appeals for offside, but uh, no flag on this occasion. James Hernandez. Here's Powell. Looked well by Bodic, who will get it back from Carruthers. Reeves. They're looking for Brigham behind here. Needs some support. Will Grigg lets a yard offside there, but the flag stayed down. Certainly the MK Dons coming more and more into the game. 15 minutes in. One of the new additions, Greg, this season that uh, Carl Robinson hopes will fire MK Dons to better things in League One. Had a fantastic start last year, but fell away. 14 points off the playoffs in the end. Powell. That's a point away from Rhys James. After his nervous start, they've slowly but surely pulled their way back in, and that's the statistic that will please Carl Robinson. Enjoying an equal share of the football. It is, of course, what you do with that share of it. 
so far David De Gea untroubled and it is Manchester United with Welbeck and Hernandez looking really sharp they look the more threatening I probably would have expected that though that's for Mile under pressure finds Lewington only in the end and dealt with the situation oh and can Ali get in behind a yard away from getting in behind there very close now Hernandez battling at the other end battling with Baldock Kagawa He's lost his footing again Javier Hernandez needs to look at his footwear doesn't he it was at the other end that literally was a yard away from getting on the end of this as it's helped back in there look literally a yard away, he had a goal scoring chance. Here's Potter. In towards Brig here, Evans had it. Reeves. Lewington. Here's Carruthers. Free kick against Janko. It wasn't a good pass from Carruthers. He sold Lewington a little bit short, but he just made it ahead of Janko. Drew the foul. Just a few words from Stuart Atwell for Sadie Janko. Now to tie in the FIFA Blue Stars Youth Tournament is uh, something of a scout's paradise. Here's Michael Keane. Played in a particularly madcap tie in this competition at Stamford Bridge a couple of years ago. You may remember United exiting 5-4 in the end. Well, Ali may get more than words here for that challenge on Powell. Well, he deserves a booking, but whether Stuart Atwell is going to be a little generous or not, remains to be seen. He looks very much like he is. And if that's not a yellow card, I don't really know what is, to be honest. It's a terrible challenge, late. Everything that warrants a yellow card. Lucky boy. It's for Meyer. Shinzo Kagawa just having a little word with the Manchester United medical staff and they're readying Adnan Yanazai. Some worries about his vision, maybe. He did have that clash of heads, didn't he? Earlier on in the game. A bit of a bloodied nose as well. An opportunity to make a mark in that Louis van Gaal's thinking has not lasted long for Shinji Kagawa. Adnan Yanazai, relatively senior figure tonight in the United ranks. Will step in. Here's Janko. Michael Keane. Nick Powell. Yanazai wants it. And look for Welbeck. Oh, beautifully done if Fernandez can get there. Not on this occasion, Bulldog got across. They're living right on the edge, that back four, aren't they? With Welbeck and Hernandez. Clever movement, clever players. Several occasions have been very close to getting in for a goal scoring opportunity. Anderson's corner. And they did Johnny Evans clutches. This is James. He work it to Hernandez. Ali steps in. That's Carruthers. 
Oh, and a mistake by Anderson. And here's Reeves. I wonder whether the ball might go for Greg in behind, but it didn't happen. He had nothing on really, so he needed to turn out and keep the ball rather than try and beat three, four, five defenders all by himself. Getting his uh, geometry right there. Adnan Yanazai. Here's Lewington. Here's Potter. Half a mile tangling with Grigg. He might yet get there. Ali, Greg, Carruthers, here's Potter. That's better, moving the ball better. Lewington, urge to shoot. Well, he's disappointed, he's every right, and a big smile afterwards. Because he has, at League One level, rifled goals in from that distance, I can assure everybody at home. Not one of his best efforts. Well, he was uh, in the... Uh, Eye of the storm in terms of the fans' eye during the last tie in this competition against AFC Wimbledon. He followed Wimbledon here and stayed here. Welbeck's down now. Only briefly, however, but let's get a word on uh, Shinji Kawaga's potential injury issue. Let's hear from David Craig. Yes, the word is uh, from the Manchester United bench that Shinji Kawaga, who's been escorted up the tunnel by the Manchester United doctor, is suffering from what they believe from a mild concussion, and the players also complaining of blurred vision. We'll bring you more on that as we get it. Well, the scenario very much in the spotlight during the World Cup and the potential effects of head injuries, and it's uh, best to take no chances. Absolutely. been very lucky at all, have they, at the start of this season with injuries. Manchester United, as to be said, it hasn't helped their cause. Injuries to many key players. Carrick, Herrera now with an ankle problem as well. Maran Fellaini, Luke Shaw, among others on the injury list for Manchester United. These are relatively strange times, no European football, which uh, will really hit hard. A little hit hard in the main respect, but you've got to look for any positives that you can, and the positive is there for all to see from Liverpool Absolutely. last season. No European football means you should be fresher when it comes to the Premier League games. Yeah, taking a leaf out of Liverpool's book is not usually a popular methodology. <laughs> in no particular part of the world. But, uh, troubling themselves at this stage of the competition, as I'm sure you well know by now, the first time in nine and two decades, a famous night for York City yeah. at Old Trafford. 3-0 victory, a certain Ryan Giggs playing up front for Manchester United that night. Team that on paper looked pretty tasty. Had Phil Neville as a jinking right winger that night, David Beckham involved, Lee Sharp, Paul Parker, Dennis Irwin and Gary Pallister, as well as Brian McClare as his strike partner. And they lost 3-0 to York. <laughs> Can't quite work that Remarkable, one out. Remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. Good competitions in this country. Oh, and maybe Reeves can make something of this, a real gift! Real great grip! And this could turn into a memorable night for MK Dons. It's a real gift, but do they care? Well, they've done phase one, which was getting through the first 20 minutes without conceding a goal. Now it's on for phase two. Can they get their noses in front? Ben Reeves does ever so well. I mean, that's really sloppy, isn't it? And Reeves has got the presence of mind just to roll his strike partner in. It's Johnny Evans, is it? And he catches out. And he's aware and he spots Will Grigg and the striker will never have an easier opportunity but that was a dangerous attempt at a pass 
from somebody that should know better than Johnny Evans. And you say costly, but MK Dons, Carl Robinson do not care. Well, curiouser and curiouser this start to United's campaign. Louis van Gaal has talked of a certain fragility in confidence terms. Let's see what kind of response they can produce. Well, the one thing you can't put that goal down to is, uh, is the system and the shape. It's just a, an individual error that has been very, very costly. But still plenty of time for Manchester United to get back into this match. Well, Evans up looking to make amends. Well, Johnny Evans very much still feeling his way into the campaign. He missed a lot of football at the tail end of last season with the calf injury. But a potentially very costly error. You never, of course, as the old adage goes, dare right Manchester oh, United off no. but and to draw on those legendary recovery powers here and that's loose and here's Bowditch Reeves Anderson winning that comprehensively up to Hernandez Somebody's given the MK Dons players an injection of confidence, isn't it? Yanazai. Now he is well back. Loose touch, but he'll get it back. Powell. Janko arriving. Having a well back, having a real battle in the middle. Shirts being tugged. A word from referee Stuart Atwell for the MK Don central defender. Dangerous game laying hands on a striker. I mean, the referee Stuart Atwell is looking right at that as well. It's a huge gamble. It's a good referee, he's made Fadzin realize he's aware of it. Powerful. Just out to Ali. Here's Greg. Oh, good score on his debut against uh, Gillingham, getting off to the perfect start in a really hard cap match for MK Dons. They were 2 0 down. Won the match 4 2. Gillingham helped them out a little bit, scoring two own goals. But it was uh, not dull. We needed uh, a goal, didn't we, Will Greg? Fantastic time at Walsall. Scored a lot of goals, got him his move that he was after to Brentford. It just never quite happened for him. He's come here. If he can get amongst the goals, there's nothing quite like scoring to give a striker confidence. He said he possibly needed an injection of that after his time at Griffin Park. Used out of position a bit, had the odd injury. Towards Hernandez here. And Anthony Kay was there. Fadian. Powell arriving at a rate of knots. That's Lewington. Play by Ali. Now Reeves. Over the top for Bowditch. Johnny Evans takes charge. A bit of an inquest. Yeah, he's having a look at Janko, but actually Janko did well because he got a little bit physical. Just knocked Bowditch off balance a little bit. Allowed Johnny Evans to nip in, get it back to safety. Key. Reeves. Out now to Carruthers. To say Danny Welbeck is making some terrific runs, but UK Don's central defenders are physically manhandling him, impeding him. 
referee needs to do something about that in the interest of fairness. It's Kay. Now Bodic. Here is Michael Keane for Manchester United. Stayed in play. Deli Alley has been a magnificent, strong boy, isn't he? He's bullying some of the Manchester United players in that midfield area, knocking them off the ball and staying composed and retaining possession for his team. Night in the spotlight for him. And Sanandez looking to measure the pass for Nick Powell. And here's Reeves for MK Dance. Leading courtesy of a Johnny Evans mix up. Will Grigg applying the finishing touch. And eventually it's brought back for Anderson's foul challenge on it. Okay, good hold up play from Will Grigg. It's fired in. Touch just getting away from him a bit, but he's quick enough to react. And Anderson lunges in. He's set the benchmark, hasn't he, for yellow card? Stuart Atwell, in terms of not giving Deli Alley a yellow card earlier in this game. Well, Carruthers to hit it. They are always behind it. Definitely worth a go. And these are the ones that very infrequently end up nestling in the top corner, but you don't pull the trigger, you're not going to score, that's a very decent effort, and a yard or two either side, might have troubled David De Gea. Johnny Evans. Oh. Straight to the feet of Potter. to uh, Liverpool fans catching up with uh, Darren Potter's uh, progress. Did play a cameo role, if you like, in their successful Champions League campaign. Played in a couple of the qualifying games. Nearly days under Rafa Benitez and a brief appearance in the last 16. Did not get a medal in the end, to his great disappointment. It's a very proud night for Pete Winkleman. He was a bit naive about some of the yeah. ramifications of the move here, particularly to those left behind, but he's built a magnificent stadium. The club is on really firm foundations. It's a magnificent stadium. It truly is, and these must have been the nights that he was dreaming of. Here's James. Back to Hernandez. Powell might pull the trigger. He well, certainly did, the stanchion getting a good old rattle. Well, he's a talented boy, and he's been, in his short career, a scorer of spectacular goals, and this would have been right up there, wouldn't it? Very confident outside of the boot. Look at that, that is not a million miles away. That is a fantastic effort. That's how close it was. He's very much the golden boy of Gresty Road in the cruise promotion campaign. A couple of years ago now. Carruthers. Looking to get Baldock in. And here's Monik Vermeil. Held up by Hernandez. Oh, and a gift again. And the passing has gone sloppy, hasn't it? From the men in red. Got off to a good start, didn't they? They look really sharp in the opening exchanges. Janko doing well up against Dele Alli, showing that uh, he can cope in the physical battle in the way Alli has. And Anders is cross, too much on it for Welbeck, but not about to give it up. Uh, well, so we've heard all about our cup competitions. He's now sampling what can happen in them, isn't he, to the big boys. That was for Mile. Here's Welbeck. Oops. Very much the brightest spark in the United firmament, but plenty of passes going astray at the moment. Bulldog. 
Reeves up against Johnny Evans. Anderson finding key. Beautiful ball for Reese James. Yanazai. Welbeck. Certainly has looked up for it. Some points to prove there's a match to save at the moment and uh, it's not going to happen with this sloppiness which is becoming a bit contagious. It has been becoming contagious. It's not that they're not up for it. I don't think there's a player in a red shirt that I could look at and go, they're not up for it. I really don't. I'm working hard, but there's a sloppiness about their passing. And remember, this is the MK Don's sixth competitive game. It's Manchester United's third. And I did wonder before the game whether or not that extra competitive football could be a, a factor. Certainly for the last 15, 20 minutes, I would say the MK Dons have passed the ball better than Manchester United. competitive edge for most of these players has come from the Manchester United players has come from the bench this season if that David De Gea starting both league games from the United fans is K forward by Martin Keane beats Bowditch to it Powell Janko Powell Ali oh, and another potential misunderstanding so Kay and Ali got it right in the end. Towards Bowditch once more. Keane is winning those duels in the air. Side flag up. Well, MK Don's hoping to write a cup fairy tale tonight. No one has written a better one than Bradford City. They face Leeds tomorrow night in another mouth-watering tie from 7 o'clock, Sky Sports 1. Well, they have to be inspiration for all the lower league clubs, don't they? After their escapades a couple of seasons ago, Bradford City. So, possibly the most unimaginable final in the competition's history, Swansea against Bradford yeah. City. Here's Welbeck. Hernandez hoping to beat the offside, which he didn't. Yeah, really good defending, that's where the experience in that middle of that defence came in. And let him have a run, stepped up, knowing they were in a straight line and he was going to be offside. Well, they've got some good history against Premier League opposition in this competition and the FA Cup. Beaten. Norwich away from home by four goals to nil three years ago. Went over Blackpool the year before that. A couple of seasons ago, they tasted success against QPR in the FA yeah. Cup as well. But what also they will remember is that they were 2 0 up against Sunderland last season yeah. with just 12 minutes to go. So they will know that this game is far, far from over. Got to stay focused, got to keep competing. And I would suggest Carl Robinson would now be happy just to get his team in. To the dressing room at half time with that one goal advantage. Ball up applying the squeeze to Reese James. Well, they're inviting pressure on themselves the way they're set up there, Manchester United was into Rhys James and the poor lad had absolutely no support. He was under pressure, ended up going back, back, back towards his own goal. And having to work hard to get a throw in. Just on that occasion by 
George Baldock. They grow their own here at MK Dons Academy uh, produce. George Baldock's brother Sam, probably the most high profile product so far. And such is the emphasis they've placed on it, there'll be uh, many more. Oh, you wouldn't bet against it, would you? You wouldn't bet against one or two of them currently out there. It's fair to say Louis van Gaal and the Dutch model are very influential in the way they run things there too. Carruthers. Reeves. We've just gone into a bit of a lull, haven't we? Five minutes or so of not a lot happening. That probably suits the home team more than it does the away team. A little bit of the atmosphere has gone out of the stadium as well. well. It's a night for MK Dons of huge potential. They can make fans for life here tonight. And, uh, top performance. Janko. Lewington. Johnny Evans. And Nanyanazai. Oh now, I might have found Janko here. Welbeck's in there. Hernandez is in there. Bodic tracking back. Well, just out of nowhere, a player of quality can pick a pass and put you in danger. And that's what Adnan Yanazai just did in sending Janko down that right side. Can they really make this corner count? Johnny Evans was trying to get free. Baldock. On now for Carruthers. And what they mustn't do is get overconfident, because that is a recipe for disaster. Very content with the position. Johnny Evans' mistake. Allowing Ben Reeves in, and he found Will Grigg to give MK Dons a scoreline of their dreams. Here's Keane. United trying to muster some momentum. Here's Welbeck. He's got help from Janko. K away. And that's Anderson's. Safely back this time. Out here with a few bits of routine business to deal with, aside from the goal. I have to say that uh, it's not been the toughest of nights for David Martin at the other no, end. No, I was just thinking that and that would be the most disappointing thing. It started off very, very sharply. And then for me, it looks like Danny Welbeck can get in behind that MK Don's defence at will, but. Spotting the runs or not being prepared to play the pass to get him in behind. He must be a little bit frustrated. Well, there'll be no shortage of takers if Manchester United are willing to open the exit door for Danny Welbeck. Ali and uh, Yanazai involved in a fairly meaty challenge. Here's Potter now for MK Dons. Brig. Lewington. Brig leaving it. Different wavelengths. Again, it's another poor pass out of defence that just gives Danny Welbeck no chance of getting the ball down and getting a hold of it. Passing really has got to improve in the second half for Manchester United. Take off the sloppiness which has really engulfed them as the half has gone on. They uh, certainly started as though they were in the mood. Picked up on a bit of uh, jangling nerves amidst the home team. 
Lewington hoping to get there. Janko did. This is Ali. Potter. Oh, and Anderson. Potter sweeping up there for MK Dons. A situation that could have turned pretty ugly for the home team. Didn't. Evans. Here's Keane. Johnny Evans. A lot of long balls coming out of that Manchester United defence in the direction of Welbeck and Hernandez. Not of quality. And therefore, not sticking. We need to find a bit of direction. Manchester United. Bowditch, but a young prodigy in his early days at uh, Ipswich Town. A very effective player for MK Dons, joint top scorer in two seasons before last, where uh, injuries really afflicted him. Well, the cup not cheering for Louis van Gaal. His side started brightly enough, but have lost their rhythm and gave away a gift of a goal, capitalised fully upon by Will Grigg. Johnny Evans slip, allowing him the opportunity, and Manchester United here with a lot of work to do in the second 45. At the break at Stadium MK, it's MK Dons 1, Manchester United 0.
Stevie Reeves can make something of this a real gift. Will Greg will. And this could turn into a memorable night for MK Dons. So Johnny Evans then with the mistake that has given MK Dons that crucial half-time lead. Can United fight their way back into this? If they are going to do it, David May, what needs to change in the second half from what we saw first? I think the passing's got to change. It's got to be a little bit quicker, more direct. And I think if you're after a goal, then I'd bring James Wilson on because he can score goals. Got a couple against Hull towards the end of last season. He's some prospects. At the file is open once again. The notes are being taken. And here with news of a change, Don Goodman and first Daniel Mann. And that is Andreas Pereira, 18-year-old Brazilian, who is going to come on for Saidi Janko. I say Brazilian, he was born in Belgium and had played uh, for them at youth level, but in the summer he got the call to the Panda Cup tournament with the Brazilian under-20 side, which they won on Chinese soil. That Brazilian Marcos was... Uh, a fairly notable player in Belgian football in his day with the likes of Mechelen and Antwerp, and now a youth coach at Genk. And for a standout moment for Pereira at this stage of his career, it may well, if you were watching the under-21 Premier League semi-final last season, remember a tremendous goal, a winning goal as well, that he scored at Anfield. They made a change of personnel. And uh, they need to rediscover discover the rhythm with which they started the match. I think David May's right. I'm sure they would have a bit of a flea in their ear from the new manager at half time to get a response from them. Hadjin's back pass. Pereira going into the hole behind the strikers, which. Uh, Certainly the position in which he would prefer to operate. Yanazai out wide now. And the right wing back, isn't he? Mm. Also, they can only improve in the second half, can't they? Although that's another sloppy pass. Yes, they need to get that out of their system. This is Ali. The determination from him. A well won back by Keane. That's Powell. They're going to spread it for Welbeck. Got to get him involved, they've got to get him running in behind. He's clearly got the beating for pace with McFadgen and Anthony Kay. Just look to exploit that Manchester United, surely that's a way back for them. So there's an obvious route back into the game. Corrales and uh, James and Vermeil swiftly on top of it. Reeves is offside, Johnny Evans. It wouldn't have mattered whether he'd made that or not. Clever thinking, though, isn't it? Quick free kick. Trying to catch them out. Levin is certainly not want to be caught out again. He looks to get back into the swing of things. Well, it has been a bit of a reality check, hasn't it? At the start of this season, pre-season results were exceptional. That probably raised a lot of people's expectations, but... This goes to show and prove the old adage that actually those pre-season results actually count for nothing. Yeah, the phoniest of wars, beating Real Madrid, Liverpool, Roma, into Milan on penalties. And Valencia at home. Here's Rhys James. And kicking towards their own supporters in the second half, Manchester United. To give them something to shout about very early on. Johnny Evans moving across the front. Another corner. He took his time there. Stuart Atwell, I'm not sure he knew precisely who that had come off. Keane makes that move this time to the front. Rhys James. Keane stayed up there. And now it could be on. Well, they couldn't get it right. Grig for Carruthers. And a better pass, and that really should not happen. It really should not happen at any level. It's 
actually MK Don's just about had a 2v1 there. Had a bit of pass. Hernandez looking towards Reese James back on this near side now. And Anderson in with a challenge. He's had his fair share of injuries, incidents and accidents. At one point he was pulled unconscious from the wreckage of a burning car. That's a cruise ship problem. It's not been the smoothest ride. It's not the smoothest ride for David De Gea either, but able to deal with it very adroitly. Oh, he made it look very smooth, didn't he? Composure from the goalkeeper. And Franz Hook, the goalkeeper and coach, works more than most on the goalkeeping distribution with the ball at their feet. Here's Bodic. Well, struck the arm, certainly. Well, that was a talking point, isn't it? OK, Dons can't believe it. Clearly struck the arm. Stuart Atwell deciding. But it was uh, ball to hand. It's Johnny Evans. Well, he brings it down, doesn't he? Uh, that is a penalty. And Johnny Evans is a lucky boy. The referee has got an unobstructed view. And that is a clear penalty. What a massive moment in this game that could prove to be. It was a definite move of the body, wasn't it? And the arm towards the ball. Such a grey area, it's almost getting as complicated as offside now, isn't it, handball? And some of the frustration, perhaps, at that lack of a penalty coming out. George Baldock at the centre of this. But it's uh, Rhys James. And he gets the yellow card. Strong challenge, isn't it? That just leads to a little bit of uh, unhappiness. Words exchanged. Must avoid calling him Matty, his brother, who had such a fabulous campaign with Leicester City last year. Yeah, promotion to the Premier League. We hope to see him get his chance on the biggest stage soon. Hernandez. High boot. Some reports about Juventus' interest in uh, Javier Hernandez, who has cut a rather unsettled figure for some time now. Pereira. Nick Powell for Manchester United. Marnik for Mile. Pereira. Hold up and Martin between them with time to tidy up. He's had a very quiet night, hasn't he? Probably unexpected. Probably expected more shots to have to stop. Just the game at the weekend with a hip injury, he would have expected a rather less gentle reintroduction. He was a centre back in his youngest days, David Martin, just like his dad. He was an exemplary practitioner of the art for so long at West Ham. Very much the senior partner with a certain Mr. Gale. With all this tackling for him and heading. That's Pereira. Beautifully finding him in the end, Yanazai. Get it under his spell. A little look at the lights there, didn't he? And the other as if to say, ball was lost in them. The lights above the now occupied top tier of this stadium. Top tier for now, they could add another one if the, the need arises to potentially take the capacity up to 45,000. Which was the plan if England got the World Cup. Will be a World Cup here, the Rugby World Cup. Again, the closing down and the tackling from the home team is exceptional. The desire to carry right on from where they left off in the first half. Looking for Ali again, he'd gone up a blind one moments ago. Three uh, United players converging around him. 
And Azai will get the decision in his favour. Manik Vermeer. Last season in Dutch football, NEC Nijmegen, who got relegated from the Eredivisie, but I'm sure he would have enjoyed life there. It's a place for a young man to be. Student town. Here's Pereira. Yanazai. Manchester United not yet making the inroads. Not yet really getting some momentum together. Here's for Meyer. Looking for Welbeck here. Foul by Carruthers. It's naive just to slide in like that anyway. He can complain that he's got the ball, but what he did by going to ground was he gave Stuart Atwell a decision to make. He shouldn't. He does get a little bit of the ball, but it's a risk. It's one that hasn't paid off. A cheap free kick. That would be rubbing something to do in mm -hmm. after the penalty decision that uh, MK Dons didn't get. If anything comes of this free kick, well, Pereira over it. Yanazai too. Costly in the end to Samir Carruthers' relief, perhaps. Well, he's had an eventful evening, hasn't he, Johnny Evans? I'll tell you something, if the MK Dons don't go on to win this match, this will be the moment they will reflect on. Certainly deserve a penalty for that. Johnny Evans' arm is out, and then he brings it back towards the ball. Hits him on the arm, clear penalty for me. That well as view a different one. Well, there's uh, quite a lot of refereeing now looking on. And Webb now uh, retired from the uh, thick of it. Mike Riley and Dermot Gallagher accompanying him. That was Powell, the substitute. He's come on for Dean Bowditch. A, a substitution that was very much on the cards. There is an element of topping up the fitness, topping up the game time. Now can certainly shift down that flank. It's come through the ranks here as well. Well, they're looking for somebody to provide a spark for them, Manchester United, and as he proved on his senior debut, James Wilson can do exactly that. Two goals against Hull City at the tail end of last season. He's going to replace Nick Powell. And for him to have an effect, Manchester United are going to have to provide him with the bullets, and they haven't done that for Hernandez, they haven't done that for Welbeck. Needs to change, or they are going to go out of the Capital One Cup. He's having a little discussion with Javier Hernandez about where precisely he needs to be. Yanazai delivers. to severely test MK Dons at the back. Evans, that was a rather more optimistic handball shout. But we'll see whether it could be, uh, in the end, uh, a major turning point. Pereira. For Mile. Pereira. For Mile. Oh, Pereira away from Potter. Now Welbeck. Maybe some shooting space! Well, there's a sharpness, isn't it? 
for young Andreas Pereira. A lovely drop of the shoulder, leaves Darren Potter standing and then picks out Welbeck. Does well to get the yard of space and that. Lots of power in the strike, but I think these pitches will prove. Had that been inside the post, David Martin would have saved it. He had it covered, the goalkeeper. But Pereira and Welbeck combining nicely and... Hearts are flutter for a moment, but only a moment. James, Welbeck, James again. Welbeck. Snuffed out by Ali. The biggest compliment I can pay to Ali is he looks far from an 18-year-old out there. He looks as mature as anybody on the park. He does been excellent all night but look at that just tonight haven't managed a single shot on target in 60 minutes and that's going to be Louis van Gaal's biggest disappointment so far it's not in the blueprint no it certainly isn't if he, uh, if he had and I doubt he did underestimated the scale of the task in front of him it's been rammed home to him Always a risk, a young team or young players. Here's Powell. Up against Keane. Lewington's cross, Reeves coming in. Well defended. And the mile, really well. Well, it's no surprise, this change. Danny Green coming on, but Samir Carruthers, what, an hour into his first competitive start in six months, leaves the stage. He's had a strong night, as they all have in white shirts. And Danny Green, after uh, fortunes began to fade for him at Charlton, searching for a new career in a new town. Busy in terms of recruitment this summer, MK Dons. They uh, lost a few of the high wage earners, the Alan Smiths and Sean Williams, Gary McKenzie, and Stephen Gleasons of this world, and had a bit more leeway in the uh, market as a result. Michael Keane living a little dangerously there. Yeah, Carl Robinson did some good business in the summer, didn't he? Got some young, hungry players in with points to prove as well. You can see the desire in his young team. And some cutting edge, perhaps. It's Powell. Just never sat right for him to hit. Almost gets stuck between his feet. Lovely build-up plays involved from the start, and then there he... Oh, it's not there to bend in the far corner. It's just not out of his feet far enough. It's a tame effort in the end. The build-up play was promising. Welbeck. Hunting for the ball. This is Yanazai. Wilson is in there, but it's away by Anthony Kay. Great experience. Tough customer at the back, although... Uh, he's had a reputation as a goal-scoring midfielder in the past and began as a striker. Versatile player. This is Reeves combining well with Grigg. Greg racing into the middle, there he is! Will Greg might just have finished Manchester United off! What a finish it is, you know. He actually chests this ball, he uses the pace on the cross and chests the ball into the net, but it comes again with Manchester United giving the ball away cheaply. And then from here, it's brilliant. A layoff by Grigg to Reeves. And then he, he makes for the centre of the goal where he can get on the end of a cross. The cross takes out Anderson. It's absolute perfection in the delivery. A wonderful pick out from Reeves. And he chests that ball into the corner. I'll tell you what, that is a stunning finish. He may not have had a lot of confidence going into this season because of lack of goals. But he is going to be high on confidence now. 
2 0. Might just do the job in every sense. You talk about rebuilding his confidence in a eye catching goal, much in the manner of Karl McFadden's against uh, AFC Wimbledon with the back heel that caught everybody by surprise. That a different type of finish, but just as inspirational. And look at Carl Robinson's face. He is not getting carried away at all. Like I said earlier, in last season's competition, we were 2 0 up with 12 minutes to go at Sunderland and didn't over the line hopefully we will have learned from that well, maybe a bit of that football humor perhaps <laughs> that's in his mind there in conversation with richie barker the head of coaching here okay, gary waddock in that role at the uh, back end of last season they just came through a little spell as well didn't they where andreas pereira was pulling the strings in that midfield area looked really sharp as if he'd injected a bit of urgency into Manchester United, but could be the killer goal right there. The clock is ticking. seen it time and time again haven't we when Premier League clubs and even championship clubs play slightly weakened teams in cup competitions for the taking it's not what those supporters would have expected tonight there's enough quality out there wasn't it Welbeck Hernandez Kagawa Anderson Johnny Evans David De Gea it's not like these are novice footballers is it been outplayed tonight Roots to silverware reduced this season, of course. Is one about to close very early in the season. Here's Grigg. There we say hat trick hunting. Pereira lost that to Lewington. Is Manchester United fans would have probably looked at this fixture expected to win. They know in the Premier League that the next three games are against the three promoted clubs from last season's championship. They would have expected to win before on the trot. Not as simple as that, as we're seeing this evening. And I'm sure the team at the weekend will be very much changed. Hernandez. Welbeck's in there, couldn't connect. That's all it needs, that's all it takes to change the feel around this stadium. Put the ball in, Welbeck can convert that into the net, everything changes. And that's why this game's not over yet. Greg. Potter. Green. Baldock. She kept it in. He's forced to throw. Kept things moving for MK, and they're going to bring on the Benikafobe. So Will Grigg is not going to get his uh, chance of a hat trick. He is going to get the hero's reception that he deserves from these home supporters. An outstanding. An unforgettable night for Will Grigg. <laughs> With the agony of being released by Birmingham City seven years ago, but he's found a way back to the Football League. Some tremendous exploits during his time at Walsall. But this, a standout night in his career so far. Benica Fobeon and waiting for a potential cross here. It's Potter's ball in. Afobe does well. Reeves. Michael Keane in the way. Oh, the confidence is high, isn't it? You can just see it flowing through their veins. Well, not there yet, but this will be as satisfying a night as he 
has had so far in management. Jose Hernandez under pressure. The closing down has been first class. They haven't let Manchester United settle in possession after the first five, ten minutes or so. Season, MK Dons, but really tightened up in some defensive work. A couple of clean sheets on coming into this game. I'm going to say, Man United find it difficult to break them down, haven't they? Offside against a phobic. Yeah, they uh, shipped three against a. Uh, Peterborough United, MK Dons, but that's kind of just their luck against Peterborough. Den do tend to have the Indian sign over them in what has become a really major rivalry. Baldock, Reeves, Afobi wants it, Afobi has it! stuff of dreams for the Dons, but it's the stuff of Louis van Gaal's worst nightmares. Well, it is, it really is. Because it's not like this has been a smash and grab, it's not like the MK Dons have been on the back foot and been hanging on for dear life. They've more than matched Louis van Gaal's Manchester United team. They've been better than them, they've been more ruthless in front of goal than them. And let's not forget, they could have had a clear penalty as well, but again, give the ball away Manchester United and then they find themselves out of position and Benneke Fobe is playing between two centre-halves there slotted to him and he stays calm he's another man that's been in the goals it's another man that's high on confidence and once again it's Reeves that is the provider 3-0 they can't blow it from there can they I don't think so Do not adjust your set. And here they come. It's Wilson. Now a phobe. Lewington. Pereira. Now Yanazai, Wilson. Pot has been magnificent, snapping at the heels. Maybe it's that kind of pressure that has forced Manchester United into the mistakes that they've made. All three MK Dons goals have come. Manchester United have given the ball away in their own half. It's unforgivable. Schoolboy stuff. Here's Welbeck. Wilson trying to pull something out of the bag. And David Martin does when he's tested. There you go, nearly 72 minutes on the clock in the first effort on goal. But David Martin has had to save, and what an effort it, effort it is. That is a wonderful save. Must have thought he'd given his team a lifeline, James Wilson. And a glimpse of his outstanding talents. It's Yanazai. Hernandez. Potter is there again. He'll be loving this as a Liverpool lad. Former Liverpool player from Scotty Road in... Uh... Oh, and it's dangerous, Evans can't get there, it's swiped away well, by George Baldock. I'm going to say, if you are going to beat the Premier League team, then along the way you may need at some point a slice of good fortune. They just had a little one there. Pereira. Now it's Johnny Evans. Who's costly mistake in the first half, really opened the door. And Manchester United have never really recovered since. Yanazai. Wilson. Showing he could inspire them at least to narrowing the margin. 
He is a natural goal score, scorer, but he is more than that. He's a very well-rounded footballer. I call him one of the under-20, key under-21 games last season. He actually injured himself, colliding with his own post, doing a bit of defensive dirty work. He's not frightened of that, as well as adding the finishing touch up front. That was green. Little appeal for handball. Well, it couldn't, could it? It's Powell! And again, it's, it's, it's hard to put into words how poor the defending is. And it's just Danny Green helping the ball over the top. Half asleep, aren't they? And he should never get in behind from there, but he does. Daniel Powell disappointed with his finish at the end of that. He is possibly as stunned as the rest of us. Ali. Anthony Kay. Yanazai. He's fouled. Oh, got a yellow card for that. Charged out of defence with the ball, didn't he? When they lost the ball. Not a position, out of shape. Worth taking one for the team. Okay. Anthony Kay. the ball there, Manchester United win it back. This was always going to happen, cynical, maybe worth it. For miles. Oh. Thought he might as well have a crack. Too much else has worked for them tonight. And they will push bodies forward now. One of the central defenders there to take risks. Need a goal very, very quickly to have any hope whatsoever. It's a learning curve for him, is it? Isn't it as well? A learning curve, learning about his players. One thing he knows, he must improve dramatically from this. Here's Welbeck. It's a terrific run by Welbeck. Comes out to James and Hernandez with that little stab, which has worked for him on occasions in the past. I don't really know why Javier Hernandez is going with the outside of his right boot there. I mean, it's a wonderful run from Welbeck. He's looked the sharpest all night, hasn't he? Gets blocked. And then there's a mishit shot. And really, why is he going with his right foot? I don't really understand that. Could have easily cushioned that in goalwards with his left. He's not been the, the impact player extraordinaire that was the tag he got a couple of seasons ago, really. He proved it more than any other. Got 18 goals. Just nine last year. Opportunities perhaps more at a premium, though. Here's Pereira. Not all the biggest names, but they're representing that illustrious name of Manchester United. Reeves. Afobe's in there, a mile away. That's a nice idea. They really are playing at the top of their confidence now. He's had an outstanding night, hasn't he? And Reeves, in the thick of it all, in an attacking sense. Really eye-catching performance. Oh, and De Gea in all kinds of trouble, was it in? Well, one thing we know is we haven't got the uh, technology, have we, to see, but we've got a replay, a line camera, an assistant referee. Well, it's not in. It's a good decision from the officials. Nearly well, put the icing on the cake in terms of embarrassment, didn't it? Is Pereira. James. Wilson. Back to Pereira. Hernandez. James. Pereira. Back to James. For Meyer. 
And now Nyanazai, three in the box. James joining them. Comfortable take. David Martin. That golden time, aren't we? 12 minutes from the end. Tell them where it all went wrong last season, but there's no sign of it going wrong this season for those supporters and their club. United's way, little has, and uh, well, it has been an extraordinary night. Whatever the final outcome at Stadium MK, which has played host to a record crowd here this evening of just short of 27,000. Sure Mr. Winkleman will be thrilled with that. There's a run of real determination from Wilson. Here's Hernandez. Well, again, I know it's a really good run from young James Wilson, but the pass at the end of it was slightly overhit, and with that, the goal scoring chance went begging. But he has looked lively, hasn't he, since he's been on the pitch? Anderson's delivery. Well, oh, where's that going to drop? Wilson's foraging in there. It's Johnny Evans, who won it initially. Keane. Anderson. Yanazai! The frame of the goal rattled. Probably tells you everything. It's just not going to be Manchester United's evening, is it? Finds himself in space on that left foot. Rocket of a shot. Manchester United do not like the second round of this competition. Leading the way in attempts, but... Well, there you have the difference. Save 80 minutes against the league one side. I'm sure Lee Van Gaal will say that's not acceptable. Well, 95 3 0 at home to York City. They lost in the second round. 3 0 down here at MK Dons the next time they play in the second round, underlying the importance of getting back into Europe next season. So they'll avoid this hurdle. Should be mentioned that it was two-legged in the days when they faced York City and they did win 3-1 at Bootham Crescent in the second leg. So, Paul Barnes who scored two and Tony Barris can, I'm sure, still dine out in York on the strength of those memorable goals. Here's Marnik for Mile. Johnny Evans, central figure. And the story of the night. And another day might easily have seen a penalty given against him. Here's Penicophobe. Here's Green. Tragic. Ali. Dean Lewington. And he'll be the best person to judge the historical significance of the night, having been with the club all the way. I can't imagine that he would have had many better. <laughs> Some more important, no doubt, but... I won't remember the names on the team sheet either. No. In the his when they... Uh, Back through the mists of time. Yanazai. Reese James wants it. Never going to be found in the end. It's green. Oh, and a misjudgment by Vermaal. It's a faux bay. Can he find a way through? Oh, Reese might get on it. It's a faux bay again. Can you believe 
believe this? Well, what we said all night long. Determination, desire, commitment, effort. Who wants it more? In that goal, you will see exactly who wants it more. And it's the man in the white shirts. He's got no right. Look at this. There's a misjudgment there. But from there, he's got so much to do. He rides that tackle. He rides that tackle. He bulldozes through that tackle. And he gets the chance that his endeavour deserves. He's got no right to score from there. And once again, it's poor, poor defending. And MK Dons are in dreamland. And Benek Afobe has just put the icing on the cake. And it has been no more than they've deserved. Well, around the country, I'm sure you're rubbing your eyes in disbelief. I think he's relaxed and he believes they might have won this game now, Carl Robinson. Well... I may dismiss it as... Uh, not the number one priority, but that scoreline will reverberate. That defeat against York City all those years ago came at that time when they were debating whether Manchester United might be able to win something with kids. <laughs> it's a very different yeah. picture now. Well, I don't think there'll ever be a crop of kids like those particular kids again. They were special. They haven't seen too much special in the red shirts tonight. And this one comes at a time when we're wondering if they're going to win anything anytime soon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. May well have been a great opportunity for them to win this uh, competition this season. They can't believe it. They've just spent uh, this part £60 million on a player. Come here expecting to go through to the next round of the Cup. I'm sure. Hard to take. I just hope it doesn't scar some of those young players as well because they're not going to forget this in a hurry. Those lads that are making their debuts and so on and so forth. Very, very hard to take. Here's Anderson. Well, there's no real face saving. Pereira will have at least an effort on target. There haven't been enough of those. Long, long way out. Very, very comfortable for David Martin. Well, it's probably about 10 or 20 times more comfortable than he ever imagined it would be. Yeah. We haven't had a harder times in any of the League One games that we've played. I'm sure. to seen this, couldn't we, after that first five minutes or so from Manchester United. They looked sharp, they looked up for it. Crisp, passing and attacking, and a good movement. All just fizzled out. All gone horribly wrong. Yamazai. Herrera. Dangerous ball, Wilson's in there! Oh, and Martin to deny him superbly! That's a terrific save. Good play again, Pereira, he's looked good since he's come on. Wilson's looked good, he does the right thing. The young striker heads the ball down, it's right in the corner. It's a first-class save. Oh, and he's in the way again, crucially. This time to deny Javier Hernandez. It's a scene of chaos inside that penalty area for a moment. Well, a couple of <laughs> top saves. Here's James. Well, they suffered the economy of uh, losing at home to Leeds in the FA Cup four years ago. Last defeat against a team from the third tier. James's cross. Nothing like the scale of this.
the standards have been set. And I can remind this young team before every single game, those are the standards that you have to try and maintain if you want to drive this club into the championship. James. Welbeck. Anderson. Welbeck. Pereira scampering after it. Just want to try and close something back. Yanazai's ball in. If, he were to, if they were to get one, consolation goal would not really sum it up. They're still going, aren't they? They appreciate. They wouldn't have wanted to lose tonight. They appreciate any youth out there now, particularly now. And there probably will be 10 changes for the weekend's Premier League game. Well, it's in these kind of scenarios where you find out who's your fair weather fan and who really has the cause in the blood and they've been excellent the United fans with uh, a below standard period in sense of uh, turning on the team Pereira ambitious well they do have a keen sense of irony United followers It's a test for them. And, uh, well, could this be another transitional season for Manchester United? I suppose we should mention the last three times they failed to win their first two league games yeah. in the season. They have won the league. Yeah. Well, have to remind ourselves, over £130 million they have spent this summer transfer window. So, kind of an outlay have to compete the ambitions remain the same the yeah. expectation remains the same the luster of the name Manchester United remains the same but here's a phobe Greg didn't get a chance of a hat-trick he might although not in any hurry Welbeck continuing to show determination and desire. Well, some might point the finger at a few, they certainly can't in his direction. It will be hurting, there's no question. The phobe is offside. It's ironic, isn't it? They struggled at home last season. In League One, they really struggled, but they've started this season very well. Unbeaten in their three home games, make that four now. And three drawn one. The signs are very promising. Well, he does admit that things got a little stale last year. They needed freshening up. Certainly looks as though he succeeded in uh, achieving that particular goal. They are a more energetic side this year as well. Uh, should serve them well. And there'll be a few more declaring uh, their allegiance to this particular cause after tonight. And so they should be. Pereira. Anderson. Reese James. Welbeck's in there. Anderson is two. He's claiming it got a deflection, that falls on deaf ears. Team out that he believed would be good enough to beat MK Dons this evening. Don't worry about that, he'd be very disappointed 
position how it's panned out. This brings a little extra pressure, doesn't it? The next weekend's Premier League game. Burnley at Turf Moor, where they didn't find it too easy on their last visit. Robbie Blake and all that. Prince Park Rangers at home. And uh, Leicester City away fast on the agenda. Which they would have seen as a window of opportunity to get their season moving, and they certainly would have seen this as exactly that. Welbeck, Wilson, he's got Yanazai with him, only in their wildest dreams did they ever imagine a night like this, the greatest day in the short history of this club of controversy, but they have embarrassed, to say the very least, the mighty Manchester United. This, nothing short of humiliation. And the measure of the task, I'm sure he didn't underestimate, but it just seems to be growing and growing with every passing week. Yeah, with every passing game that they don't win, the pressure will grow, but nice touch from Louis van Gaal, staying behind, even though he must be absolutely devastated to sign autographs for all those supporters that have come out to see his team here this evening. Work to be done, no question, but let's focus on how fantastic the MK Dons were. They were outstanding, they were better tonight, pure and simple, and they got their just rewards, and they've got to build on that. Well, it certainly looks bright for the League One campaign, Will Grigg capitalising on a Johnny Evans error with a bit of help from Ben Reeves, who was outstanding as well in support of the attack. And a tremendously well-improvised finish to make it to Benica Fobe proving a massive impact substitute with two of his own. But Manchester United, after a very bright start, it has to be said, just lost their rhythm completely upon conceding the first goal and just simply did not recover. A memorable night for MK Dons, a night that will take some beating in their history and bodes fantastically well for the campaign to come. But Carl Robinson undoubtedly his greatest night at the helm, and alongside Pete Winkleman and the man who made all this possible, yeah. a moment of quiet contemplation. Oh, he must have loved the fact that he'd filled this stadium at last for football purposes. I don't think in his wildest dreams he felt that his team would go into the next round. So a double whammy, he's filled the stadium, and he'll be very, very proud of his team, and they may, who knows, they may get another plum draw and be able to do it all over again here at the MK Stadium, which is a truly magnificent stadium, it has to be said. But it's been their night, and they deserved it. Yes, fantastic night for MK Dons. Double trouble for Manchester United, Will Grigg and Benica Fobe. Two goals apiece to write a new chapter in the history of MK Don.